career as a BC land surveyor is for someone interested in the challenges of the outdoors, mathematics, boundary resolution determination, the study of historical records, and the using of cutting edge technology. And forget monotony, BC land surveyors can travel the world, work in the field or in the office, and enjoy variety that other careers don't offer. What is land surveying? Land surveying is the art, science and technology of locating and determining, by measurement, the shape and size of any portion of the Earth's surface and the representation of these surveys on maps and plans. BC land surveyors often define boundaries for ownership rights, roads, bridges, buildings and shipping and transportation routes, provide topographic and hydrographic surveys for construction or legal and control surveys, plan and design subdivisions or subdivide land or buildings, establish property corners and determine rights of occupation and ownership, show clients the legal and most efficient methods of getting government approvals, re-establish legal boundaries on land, above or below the surface, over water and in airspace. While working in the field of land surveying, you'll have technology to aid you, history to guide you, and adventure to fulfill you. Land surveying makes use of many technologies, many of which are evolving rapidly. Computer skills are essential. Most land surveyors have a PC at their desk and use it for research, correspondence, calculating and drafting. Legal documents can be searched online and GIS websites are used for research. Also used are specific CAD and computation software for processing and preparing survey plans and documents. All offices have large format printers and copiers and some have high speed printers for volume printing and plotting. Outdoors, use of mobile and satellite phones are common, along with other forms of radio communication. It's common to use 4x4 trucks, quads, snowmobiles, and occasionally helicopters for backcountry and or winter field work. Surveying equipment is mostly computerized, and there is frequent use of rugged handheld computers, electronic total stations and levels, and of course high-precision GPS receivers are also quite common. Some companies also have robotic total stations, which enable many jobs to be done by one person. Land surveyors come from many different backgrounds and previous work experience, including technology. Geographic information systems is becoming an increasingly larger part of the land surveyor's work. Rapid advances in equipment, computers, and new technologies such as global positioning systems are adding challenges and excitement to the profession. But to get where you're going, especially as an employee in the geomatic sector, you need to know where you've come from. Land surveying is all about how history and historic events affect today's survey work. The majority of legal surveys are to some extent re-establishing the past survey work. An understanding of how historic surveys were approached and carried out, local knowledge and the changes to the cadastral fabric over time will all have a part in the decisions land surveyors make today. Each present legal survey completed will be referenced as historic evidence in the future. Legal principles, statute law, hierarchy of evidence, and the ability to produce work which stands up to potential scrutiny by the courts factor into all legal land surveys. Today, a British Columbia land surveyor must have received his or her commission from the association and be a member in good standing in order to practice the profession of land surveying. The crude but effective technology of the past, such as the staff compass, open plate transits and gunters chains have now been replaced by GPS, electronic total station instruments, electronic data recorders and powerful computers for calculating and plotting the results of field measurements. Nevertheless, the traditions, honor and devotion of the past members is still found in today's members. And a good land surveyor, often intrigued by history, is equally apt to enjoy an adventure. What kind of personal character is necessary for a person who wants to become a BCLS? You should enjoy the outdoors and have some attraction to adventure and physical work. Working in bad weather is unavoidable for some projects, so you need to be accepting of challenging working conditions when they come up. 
Modern transportation has relieved the surveyor of much of the isolation which was once part of survey life. Nevertheless, surveyors may operate away from their families for a portion of the year. A land surveyor has to be of good character due to the impartiality that must be maintained when dealing with boundary issues. It can be challenging to maintain this impartiality and our code of ethics, especially when dealing with strong personalities who may push for a biased boundary resolution. Self-confidence is key. Strong communication skills are necessary as land surveyors are often asked to answer technical questions and to explain statutory regulations to those unfamiliar about the work. The land surveyor should be comfortable talking and dealing with people. A BCLS will deal with employees at all levels of government, with land developers, contractors, engineers and the general public landowner. As you pursue a career as a legal land surveyor, the challenges are many and varied. As you gain experience and knowledge, the challenges will change depending on the location and type of surveys, and in what capacity you decide to practice. With a large multi-discipline firm, with a small company, with the government, or as a sole proprietor or consultant, there are many quality institutions and programs which will assist you in gaining much of the required knowledge. School will increase your knowledge, work will teach you how to apply the knowledge gained through study. Many of the skills required can only be learned on the job.